Hey there guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, kung ikaw ay may balak na mag-apply sa 5 Star VA at gusto mong simula ng first step, ay para sa iyo ang video nito. So, watch until the end of the video para kayo ay mag-guide sa online assessment which is the first step in applying to 5 Star VA. So, hi there guys! So, in this video, um, I will discuss to you yung mga tips na pwede kong i-share when I took the online assessments sa 5 Star VA. So, there are 5 important tips that I will share in this video. So, panoorin po ninyo hanggang sa huli at the end of the video para kayo ay totally na mag-guide sa first step sa pag apply natin sa 5 Star VA. So, ang pinaka-first step ay online assessment which is... Um, yun yung online exam. So, uh, um, to give you just a hint kung ano yung um, uh, nandun sa online assessment when I took it. So, just focus on English and math. So, uh, yun lang yung tip na may bibigyan sa inyo dahil ang, sa pagkakaalam ko ay random ang mga questions na nilalagay sa online assessment. So, uh, let's go to my first tip. So, first tip natin ay mental preparedness. So, before kayo mag-apply sa 5 Star VA or before nyo itook or itake yung uh, online assessment, you need to be mentally prepared. So, remember, mental preparation is important um, as studying the content. So, by adapting strategies kung ano ba yung gagawin ninyo, um, you may enhance your focus then confidence and overall readiness to take the online assessment. So, dapat ready tayo mentally para hindi kung ano-ano yung tumatakbo sa isipan natin. So, uh, mentally prepared before we take the online assessment. Yung talagang ready ka na to take the assessment. So, that's my first, very first tip before clicking the online assessment. Dahil may timer po ito. So, online VA assessment is timed 20 minutes if na mistaken. And my second tip for you is no distractions. So, um, uh, create a conducive environment or find a quiet comfortable place kung saan kayo magtitake ng online assessment nyo. No distractions. Kung may mga anak kayo at uh, meron namang pwedeng magbantay sa kanila, importante na ibabantay mo na natin sila para makafocus kayo sa pag-take ng online assessment. So, choose a location where you are less likely to be interrupted by noise or people. So, my third tip po sa inyo is no internet interruptions. So, dapat stable yung internet natin. That's why they always make sure and they always confirm na before you take the exam, you are connected to the internet via LAN cable even the interviews so via LAN cable hindi pwedeng um, yung wifi lang wireless wifi so uh, dapat LAN cable directly connected sa router so there will no be um, internet interruptions during your online assessment remember it's always a good idea to test your internet connection and to resolve any issues beforehand to ensure a stable connection during your online assessment. So, dahil pag na-interrupt yan, um, when I take the online assessment, if I remembered, um, parang may tumawag yata sa akin, and then na-i-back ko siya. So, uh, bigla akong nagulat, kasi akala ko hindi na ako makakabalik sa online assessment. So, uh, Maswerte na, nakabalik ako doon, parang na-pause lang konti yung time. Pero the time is um, still running. So, yan. So, yung sabi ko kanina, second tip na no distractions. And third tip is no internet interruptions. So, make sure your internet is stable before you take the online assessment. My fourth tip for you is remember to refresh your high school subjects. Especially, sabi ko kanina, math and English. And uh, remember to always allocate sufficient time for reviewing both math and 
um, English concepts. So, not literally naman na kailangan yung basahin lahat ng subjects ninyo, yung English subjects ninyo, kung ano yung, um, uh, ano yung mga napag-aralan nyo noon. So, uh, mostly siguro sa mga uh, pag-construct ng sentence, paggamit ng mga like verbs, adjectives, synonyms, antonyms, yung mga ganong bagay. And focusing on areas where you feel less confident. Kung saan ka less confident, sa grammar mo ba? Yun din ang isa. You must focus on your grammar. And sa mathematics, um, computations, yung mga yan, formulas. Okay. Fifth tip, last but not least, I proofread and review your answers before clicking. So that's the important thing. Be sure with your answer, proofread the questions, your answers, and yeah, um, use your instincts as well. Nakakatulong din yung instinct. Kung hindi kayo sure sa answer ninyo, use your instinct. Remember to remain focused and attentive during the review process. So, kailangan nakafocus kayo and then you need to read again and again. Okay? Resist the temptation to rush or submit your answers. Even a time siya, um, uh, even a time yung ating online assessment, just be sure with your answer. Okay? By taking the time to review your final answers, uh, you can identify and correct any error, leading to more accurate and comprehensive responses. So, that's the fifth one. Make sure you proofread the questions and your answers before you click or before you send your answer. Okay? So, kailangan sure na sure kayo sa answer ninyo. And, uh, yeah, yan yung pinaka-importante din na isa. Dahil nga, sinabi ko ulit, timed ang ating online assessment. So, uh, the other um, points na gusto kong i-share sa inyo is uh, in taking the on the five star online assessment i uh, that's 40 items and you need to pass 36 items so you need only to have four errors and so yung maximum na error na dapat na uh, maximum error i four lang dahil lang passing i 36 so, mataas yung kanilang passing score. Pero yan yung standard nila. We can do nothing about it. Yan yung standard ng 5-star VA sa online assessment nila. So, there you go guys. Yan yung tips na share ko sa inyo sa online assessment. And my last and final tip is pray. Always pray. And don't forget to pray and ask for wisdom and guidance. So, pray before you take the online assessment and pray after you have finished the online assessments. So, there you go guys. Yan po yung tips na may share ko sa inyo in applying sa 5-star VA during the online assessment. That's the first step that you will take. And after you pass the online assessment is you will um, proceed to the initial interview. Okay, so sa online assessment pala, sa result nito, it will um, take uh, 24 to 48 hours na magsasend sila ng email sa inyo. So, if you didn't receive any email after 48 hours, um, that automatically means you didn't pass the online assessment. So, follow the tips that I've given you dahil yun ang nakatulong sa akin to pass the 5-star VA online assessment. Ayan. So, thank you guys for watching my video today and hope this um, video helped you sa pag apply nyo sa 5-star VA or any na agency na plano nyo applyan sa pagiging virtual assistant. So, if you have any other questions, comments, or suggestions, you can leave it on the comment box below or you can send me a message on my TikTok account, Facebook account, and Instagram account. Ayan. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you on my next one. You have a great day and God bless. Bye!